Hey folks, I'm Pete, and this is Pete's Eats Cooking Videos. Today we're gonna make mashed rutabaga. And this is an absolutely delicious veggie side. If you're looking for a new veggie side to include with your meals, this is the one. It's often, we often serve it with a poultry. I know at Christmas and Thanksgiving when we have turkey, this is an absolute staple veggie side. And I'll tell you, a lot of folks that have it look more forward to eating the mashed rutabaga than the turkey itself. It's really easy, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right now. So let's begin. So here's what you're gonna to need to make it so simple. You need rutabaga, butter, and salt. That's it. We're gonna cut it up into cubes and boil it, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. If you're following a rep recipe from Europe, uh, particularly the United Kingdom, or you're in uh, Europe, this is actually called Swede there, not uh, rutabaga. And so let's begin. You're gonna see how easy this is. So here's the rutabaga, and what we need to do is we need to peel it, and we don't use a peeler, we use a knife because it's got a fairly thick and hard outer, uh, outer skin. And also you'll notice, you see, uh, the rutabagas are always waxed. There's wax on it, so we have to remove all of that. So I'm just gonna cut it. You know, it does require a little bit of strength, and you can do this uh, more slowly if need be. And then I'm just gonna cut all the way around, rotating it all the way around. You wanna get the green kind of layer off and skin. And then I'll just keep doing that until I have the whole rutabaga has been cleared of the waxy skin. The thing with rutabaga is that uh, it is a bit of an acquired taste. So the first time you have it, you might like it. But trust me, uh, after you have it a couple of times, this happens over and over again with people. People really begin to crave it. It's so, you know, give it a bit of a chance. If you're not crazy about it the first time, try again because you'll see, you will really develop a love for the taste of rutabaga. So I'm gonna clean this up and I'll meet you on the other side of it. So before I cube up the rutabaga, I wanna wash the knife and the cutting board because it's got all this wax remnant on it. <clears throat> okay, so I've, I've peeled the rutabaga and I've uh, checked it to, to take off any kind of dodgy spots. Sometimes there's some dark spots on it, whatever, and it's good. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cube it. So I'm gonna cut it through the center and this does require uh, some force, so you have to be careful. I'll put half of it aside. So the way I cube it is I cut it into sort of a half moon slices. About, I don't know, from half to a quarter inch. No one's gonna throw you in jail if they're not all the same. I'll take these pieces and cut them into kind of sticks. And I'll take those uh, sticks and I'll dice them up into, I don't know, again, quarter to one half inch cubes. If the bigger cubes will just take longer to soften up when you boil them. So there you go, it's been all cubed up. Uh, by the way, you can eat this raw as well. It's kind of tasty raw, it's very mild taste. Um, and I'm gonna fill this with uh, water and put a little bit of salt in there and then start boiling it. And the other great thing about uh, rutabaga is it's really cheap. So if you're, if you're on a budget and you want a really, really tasty veggie side, this is the one, this is perfect. I filled the pot with water to about an inch or so above the level of the uh, cubed rutabaga. And now I'm just gonna add about a teaspoon of salt to the water, okay? And then I'm gonna turn it on a high-ish heat and we'll bring it to a boil. And we're gonna have to have this boil for about the better part of an hour to get it really nice and soft. And then we'll mash it. And I'll show you how to do that once it's ready. Okay, so this has been boiling for the better part of an hour. And you can see uh, when you taste it, the pieces are really nice and soft, so they're ready to be mashed. There's also this kind of scum that forms on the side. Now there's nothing wrong with including that in the mash, but I, I like to take it out and, uh, and just discard that. And then we drain the water and we're gonna mash it and add the butter. So I'll show you that in a second. So here's the uh, rutabaga. I've drained all the water so it's nice and uh, dry. 
And now uh, what I'm gonna do is add the butter. I'm gonna add about a quarter pound of butter. This is totally to taste, but at least a quarter pound because you want it nice and creamy. And I may add some more salt uh, once, once I get it mashed. The final adjustment will be to see if the salt level is okay. So there's the, uh, the butter. And what I'm gonna do is mash this. Yeah, this is beautifully soft and it's not gonna take too long to get this one done. Uh, of course, uh, we like it more on the fully mashed and sort of almost, you know, creamy mash side. Uh, but if you like texture in your in your vegetables, and you'll have to play with this, you know, you want to maybe not mash it quite as much. It totally depends on the way, if you like it chunky or you want it smooth, you know. Uh, but I'm going to mash this up until it's smooth, okay? And the butter is totally incorporated. So just give me a minute here, and I'm going to mash this. This should take a good minute. So final adjustment, it does need just a little bit of salt, just a touch, so I'm gonna put a touch of salt and just a little bit more butter to make it a touch creamier. Never too much butter. Mashed rutabaga keeps really well on the stove. So traditionally, I would make this a little bit earlier. I'd throw a, 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 a wad of butter in there, cover it up and just put it on a warm spot on the stove or you could put it in a, in a uh, low, low heat oven just to keep while you make all the rest of the stuff. This could be made an hour or two before, no problem. So there you go, delicious veggie side, mashed rutabaga. It's tasty, it's easy, and it's cheap. Enjoy.